Warning, the following video you are about to see may contain violence, coarse language, and sexual themes. Viewer discretion is advised. How's it going YouTube? This is Nancy Gamer, and welcome back to Yakuza 4. This is, I think, episode 4, so let's continue. I'm, I'm still a little drunk. I don't know what that actually affects, but I'm drunk, so I'm just gonna wobble back and forth. I'm a drunk. My controller keeps randomly vibrating, I'm not really sure why. Excuse me. Excuse me, peoples. Hello, sir. It's hard to know the, the right timing to hit on a girl, isn't it? It'd be so much easier if you could just... could tell what, whether or not you, you stood a chance. Action icon. Sometimes graphic icon, okay. Maybe I'll wait a little longer. So someone approaches me. Man, here, okay, anyone who's watching this who is, you know, a little shy about talking to a girl, this is coming from, from someone who was in that same boat who was just too afraid to talk to people, and then you end up, like, you know, maybe you have a crush, and you just don't want to, like, dude, shut up, and you just don't know if how to approach them. The best thing to do is just say hi. And if, it, if you don't feel that chemistry, because in your head you can build this whole romantic setting. In reality, that's not the case. So you, the, the, the best thing to do is just walk up and say hi. Be yourself. Because if you pretend to be someone you're not, that relationship is right away never going to work out. Uh oh. Quit staring around, would you? You're getting in the way of the scenery. You should pay me some, pay me for messing up my day. Come on. I'm not gonna fucking pay you, you bastard. I had a drink. Two drinks. You know what? Yeah, how's that? How's that? Kick, kicking the fucking ass. I'm gonna grab this chair. There's a sign. Here's the menu! Boom! Oh, my headset fell off. You done? We good? Oh, more? Come on, bring it on. Bring it on, you little bitch. You too. Come here. Come here, let me kick you. Yeah. Come here. I'm gonna hit you with a stick. Boom! Who wants a stick? You want a stick? Take the stick. Ooh! Oh! Oh, Jesus! Every guy in the world just cringed. Oh, that was a metal pipe to the fucking dick! Oh! Oh, the audio spiked. I am sorry, mister. You did not deserve that. And... Metal pipe to the dick! Boom! Boom! Oh! I'm sorry, sir. He's dead. Eddie's never having kids. Uh, forgive me. Sorry I said anything. It's such a dumbass. Ugh. Ten thousand bucks. Thank you. I need a drink. He did not deserve a fucking metal pipe to the crotch. Alright. Did this where I have to go? Excuse me. Coming through. They cleaned that up pretty well. Can, can I actually buy a drink? I cannot. Alright. Ah, that's brutal. Hello? Ah, uh, home sweet office. I need a nap. Though I did just smash someone's crotch in with a pipe, so. Mm. It's been a pretty good day. I need a drink, though. Ooh, a box. Is this for me? Mr. A, make sure you eat. Ooh, food. I already had some soup, but I'm always hungry. Busting crotches is pretty busy work. Mm. Uh, Great. It's ice cold. Do you have a microwave, man? <laughs> oh, I need a nap. Good night, world. I'm taking a nap for a bit. Uh, where's my lighter? Huh? 
Did those fuckers steal my lighter? God damn it. They lost their lighter, now they stole mine. Ugh. Where the hell is it? Ugh. Damn it. Do not have any lighters? How about here? Family. This is very touching for some reason. God damn it, no lighter. <sighs> oh, is it in my ear? No, it's not in my ear. Hello? Who's here? Can you, uh, do you have a lighter? Excuse me. Uh, oh, how can I help you? Uh, actually, do you have a lighter? I, I can really use a lighter. Alright, she's cute. Hey. Yes, come on in. Sky finances? That it is. Sorry, I know it's kind of hard to find. Please, please, sit. She hurt. I'll give the animation oh. crew, you know, for props. She looks like she's in a, in a lot of like, distress. Are you? You're about alone? Yes. Yes. Um, 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 yes. Do you mind if I smoke? Not at all. Um, can I actually borrow your lighter? Mine went missing. Here you go. Nice clean lighter. But if I, you know, borrow that? Thank you. My head hurts. I fell the other day and slammed my head against the door. So I got a pretty oh. nasty bump and I have a slight headache. Hi. So, probably a minor con concussion, but I should be fine. Oh, oh yeah. How about that? Um, go on. I heard you offer unlimited finance that would help require or require a career or collateral. Is that true? Limited, huh? Did you hear that? You can't say. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. There's probably some other lender who turned you down. Fed you a line like, we can't give you a loan, but Sky Finances might. That and it doesn't other things, I bet. We're not exactly popular with other folks in the industry. <sighs> Can I borrow your lighter? Mine went missing. Alright, how much do you need? Uh, uh, Ten billion dollars. I don't... Like yeah, oh, by the way, can I use your lighter? Mine went missing. Ah, oh, finally a lighter that works. The moment I leave, I'm gonna buy a lighter. Dream Queen. Or Drama Queen. Okay. I misread that. Hmm? Oh, well, uh, yeah, I thought it was a name in the name of the name. Do you work in the name of the name? No, no. 
これ。これ。100 She's clearly under like some distress. 100 million. Yes, sir. Okay. Your grantor? I don't have one. Any collateral? No, sir. She's clearly hurt, though. No, current or collateral. You want it all at once in cash. Do you have any idea what you're asking? I'm sorry, this is crazy. You must think I'm a lunatic. Yeah, I am. Please, I just forget I even brought it up. Okay, I'm sorry to waste your time. Please excuse me. Hold on! Seriously, are you hurt? I never said I wouldn't lend you the money. But seriously, are you hurt? Should I, should I call a doctor? Let's talk over some tea. I actually just bought some tea. See, guys, there's a reason I, I bought that tea. See? Look at that. Sorry, up tea. Yeah, now let's get down to business. We require our clients to pass a test before we finance their loans. A test? That's right. Sorry, noises. I had an itchy ear. That's right, a test to gauge whether or not we can trust you. Trust me. Yes. We test all our clients before agreeing to loan the money. We had one person care for an elderly for a week and another pick up the litter in Kamocho. One woman we had work at a red light district business. Mm. The test gets more difficult depending on the loan amount in terms. And in your case, well, the test would be higher? Right. But if you pass it, I promise to loan you the amount that you want under the term you just specified. Okay, I have to blow my nose, guys. I'll, I'll try and cut it out. Okay, I can't believe this. Imagine 10 days before. It's if you don't have, you have to waste precious time. What do you think? You want to take the test anyways. <laughs> yes, I have to try. Yes, I have to try. You're really sure? I don't have any take your test. Please. Alright then. 
God damn it. Excuse me one minute. Sure. Hello? Our finances. Oh, uh, is it Akiyama? Kiddo! You okay? Where are you? Where are you? Come up to the precinct. They just finished grilling me about the boss. About the boss? Why are you? I'm the one who found him. He was dead when I got back to the office. I see. A lot's happened over here, too. Anyways, I take it you heard about R.I.? Yes. Some detectives named Sujit Sugar told me. I still can't wrap my head around it. I can't blame you. Listen, we need to meet face to face. Can you spare some time later? Sure. I got some questions for you, too. Okay. I'm with a customer right now, so I might fall back about maybe 10 minutes or so. No problem. Okay, bye. Seems one of my customers is having a little trouble. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's fine. So, back to business. 100 million yen in 10 days. Yes. Alright then. Can I ask you to come back tomorrow? I need some time to think on the test. I understand. Well, let's we'll start on start the test then. I hope you'll come come ready. I will. She's walking normally now. So it's a us. ご来店お待ちしてます。あの、あ、ウェイ。お名前。お名前聞いてもよろしいですか。リリー。リリー。リリーさんですか。それは本名。それは本名。言わないとダメです。言わないとダメです。言わないとダメです。言わないとダメです。言わないとダメです。言わないとダメです。言わないとダメです。言わないとダメです。言わないとダメです。言わないとダメです。言わないとダメです。言わ
There's something I want to talk to you about. You mind meeting up? No problem. There's a place. Hmm. How about... <coughs> Sorry, guys. Mm. Those are a little, a little dry. There's a lot of reading in this. Like, I kind of got, like, space these episodes out, like, half hour to an hour at a time. If not, it really hurts the throat. You know, the red one. Across from the movie theater. Let's meet on the roof. Red building. Got it. Okay, see you there. Better go find a red building in the theater district. Okay, can I get some stuff in here? Nope, okay. So there's a store right across the road. What is this place? Nope, can't go in there. Here? Hmm. God damn. Hello? Speaking. Ah, Mr. Ryan. I'm glad I caught you. Why? What's up? We have a customer that wants to see you. Will you please hurry back to the office? It's kind of important. Okay, hang tight. I'll be there as soon as I can. Alright, well, you're heading back to the office. <sighs> Go all the way back. Why does it keep vibrating? It's weird. Oh, hi, Mr. Ray. The customer's waiting. The one you told me about was the phone? Got it. Thanks. I apologize for the wait. So, tell me, what brings you here today? Oh, are you Mr. Akuma? You provide interest-free loans, right? Yes, that's right. So, I do have a few conditions. What's your name, if I may ask? Kishiobara. Uh... How much are you willing to lend out, or, er, usually? Mr. Bora, I see. Can you tell me why you need the money first, and then I'll decide whether to give you the loan? Mm. Well, you see, not too long ago, I drove my printing company into bankruptcy. I inherited the place from my father, I figured I'd start my own company this time, from the ground up. You made your father come to the ground, and he came to me for a loan. I made money, but not enough to get out of the red. In the end, all I could do was downsize, but downsizing can't be the best option, can it? The company was already on its way under. The only answer left was downsize, and wouldn't it just be better to pull the plug? I think it's cowardly to fire people just to try and keep a company artificially afloat. So, I took responsibility for my bad management and let the place go bankrupt. No hard feelings all around, right? So, you felt bad for firing a couple of people until you got the company back afloat because of shit. But you're probably okay making everybody lose their job so the place goes bankrupt. I see. Spoken like a typical spoiled heir. The old company doesn't matter now, anyways. What's important is building this new company, so, will you lend me the money? I'm not against the idea, but couldn't you, couldn't your bank help out in any, in that respect? Yeah. I guess I didn't pass the review. They asked me what biz, business the company would be in, but I hadn't decided yet. It's something online I know? So I haven't figured out anything, eh? What? Huh? You need planning documents too? Don't you loan sharks usually skip these formalities? No, it's just that... Never mind. How much did you need? Let's see. Could you lend me three or five million? Five million yen. Why so much? Oh, I forgot. Forget it. Not like you, you would know. What the hell? I'll lend you five million yen. No interest. No collateral. Seriously? You're not pulling my leg here? But first, you're gonna have to pass my test. Sure. <laughs> bring it on. I don't know what kind of test it is, but I'll do anything you ask. All right. So, if you want to start, start a company, be, a, be be as president. In that case, I'll need you to find three business partners. Bring me ten president business cards. 
Find a hostess here after the club closes. Find three business partners. Find three business people who are partner in your business with you and bring them to me. People who are partner in my business? Three of them? Is that all you need? Yeah. People who would be happy to help build up a company with you. What do you think? Can you do it? What are you talking about? I've got tons of friends. It won't take long at all. Alright, right back, okay? Better get that five million ready. Mr. A, I can help over here, eh? Are you really gonna lend money to that piece of work? He's not fit to start a company. You think so too? Tell you the truth, I agree. He's all talk. See a lot of those types like that nowadays. So, you never plan on giving him a loan in the first place. Then why bother with the test? Oh, I'll let him the money if he passes. I'm gonna teach him it's, it's rough. Where are those there? Mm. But what if? I mean, just on the off chance. Don't worry about it. They know boaster like him can never hope to pass one of my tests. You know, Anna? Man might have a lot of people he can call friends, but I bet a very few of them would actually be willing to take a chance on him where when their livelihood is on the line. He says it will be a cinch to find three of them, but unless he's especially thrust trustworthy or charismatic, they won't follow him. Hmm. <sighs> Welcome back. So, where are your three partners? They just don't understand. I told them they could pull in a hundred million a year if they just left everything to me. Oh? So you failed the test? It's not my yeah. fault. It's theirs. They're too blind to see. And after all the times they begged to to be on my parties. What parties? My online game parties. You mean you didn't know about them? They're kind of a big deal. They're called Hurricane Salt. I see. Well, it hardly matters at this point. You weren't able to pass the test, which means our loan discussion is over. My apologies. Anna, Mr. Mr. Shiobara is leaving. Can you show him out? Yes, Hi. of course. That's the door. He just came in through it. Get the fuck out. Wait a second. You mean you know all about me for one lousy test? Who do you think you are? A god? Please, I'm counting on you. Give me one more chance. Just one more. Hmm. Please, I'm begging you. Let me try it. Try again. I swear. I take things more seriously this time. We have an other business to attend to. You know? But it doesn't look like you'll be leaving anytime soon. It's alright. Here's one more test. Bring me ten present business cards. Bring me ten business cards of ten presidents. They can be presidents of any kind of company. Ten cards? Is that all you need? Corporate CEOs, presidents of small factories, any kind of president will do. Just find ten of them. Get their cards and bring the cards here. Are you sure? That sounds pretty easy. I mean, I used to be the president myself. I get 20 or 30 cards, no problem. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Go do it. Get the fuck out of my house. I'll be right back, okay? Gotta get that 5 million ready. Why are you giving him a second chance? Usually you just send someone else out the door. He's just so astonishingly clueless. Don't you want to see how this all ends? Not particularly. He's kind of a douche. You always forget wow. to collect your loans. Too many boneheaded customers like him, and I'll be up with my neck and actual work. And I appreciate every last ounce of work you do. You know what? Have some tea. I guess you can do what you want. It's your company. Thanks for the tea. If I were you, Hana, how would you go about collecting 10 present cards? Hmm. Well, I'd probably pop into an office building and talk to the company's presidents directly. Good answer. Frontal attack, eh? Me? I might grab a hold of a presser or two, then talk to them and to uh, take them to a print shop and have them make me some cards. A little aggressive, maybe. That sounds like something you do. Nothing wrong with that. Hell, I could even have a print shop make up a bunch of fake cards if I wanted. 
A straightforward method requires courage, but my way calls for a, for a quick wit. Regardless, I doubt he's capable of either. Ooh. Welcome back. So, where's those, those kind of business cards? I only have yeah. one. My father's. None of the CEOs I knew after my last company are, are even in this town. Are there any company presidents here? That's all businessmen and pe people in the bars and restaurant business. You're looking at one. Sorry. I don't re really look like a CEO. Well, then, since you weren't able to pass the test, get the fuck out of my house. Anna, show him the door. Yes, the door's over here, you fucking asshole. Get out. Wait, just a second. That test was put together wrong. I can't believe it. I promise. Please, count on more. Oh, alright. Only one more now, then. If I don't host this, I'll come to the after. If I don't host this here after the club closes. If I don't host this here after the club closes and bring her here to my office. Host this club? That's it? I can bring a group. Oh, man. I don't know. Oh, come on. Should be a piece of cake for a man like you. What's the problem? I just don't have the cash. Host the club costs a lot, you know? It really is too bad. I'd have to, all kinds of girls follow me if only I had the money. Be like the Pied Piper. I guess I'll have to introduce you to my friend, Hostess Club. You can put it on my bill. This is called Sweet on Pink Street. Just say my name and they'll let you in. Really? You can't do help money, right? Well, I made that particular problem go away. So what do you think? Can you do it? Yes, of course. Uh. No problem at all. I'm going to have 20 girls here. I'll be right back. Mr. A, really? Enough with this, okay? Suppose you're right. It is just fun teasing him, though. Mr. A, why do you say here's a host of fun? You just go out and have fun on, on your dime, no less. First time visit to a host club hardly ever manages to invite a girl out afterwards. Anybody who's to see isn't e either r rich or a smooth talker. But this guy has no money at all. And, I mean, you see the charisma. We don't know that. I mean, he might fall into some crazy beginner's luck. That would be a miracle. If he pulls off a miracle at, at, at a time like this, it'll be the first of many. Luck is just another kind of talent, isn't it? Maybe, but even so... That guy gets his very own miracle. I'll lose all faith in the gods. Hmm. Welcome back. So, where's the hostess? Ah, uh, that club is no good. The girls at my table only said a few words and then they, she clammed up right away. Isn't it her job to get the conversation going? I'm a customer. I'm the paying customer. Paying with somebody else's money. Seriously, though. Yeah. Any other club, it would have been gone swimmingly. Bobby, it all comes down to bad club. Even if we assume the it's the club's fault, you still didn't manage to pass the test. That means no loan. Anna, join us to the door for the third time. Yeah, the door's over here. Get the fuck out of our house. Wait just a second. Let me try one more test. Dude, did three tests. Please, counting on you. Give me one more chance. Just one more. Oh, it's just one more with you, isn't it? I'll give you three chances already. No matter how many times, you won't pass the test. Hmm. Alright. Alright, so leave. I'm tired of stringing along a big mouth, no nothing like you. Please. Yeah. This is it. My very last chance. You give it to me. I'm finished. Can you just leave already? I just got done smashing a guy's nuts in with a pole. I'm positive I can build a company that will never ever downsize you really want to start your own company don't you are you being entirely honest with me and with yourself absolutely no lies and no excuses period fine then this is your honest and goodness last chance if you fail this test you leave all right i'll back to death for sure okay here we go my friend sleepless company is in the red if you can get it to make a profit again i'll lend you five million yen that could take years. Feel free to leave if you're not interested. What's it going to be? You in or out? 
All right. Where's the leaflet company, anyways? It's Paradise Advertising on Triplet Street West. A little west of the M store there. Let me give, give them a call. Hey, friend, there's a loser here who wants to run your company. You've been asking for management advice, right? I found a man with a job, mister. I'll be sending him over shortly. Really? Mr. Shibaro, is it? Thank you very much. I'll be waiting. There, last chance. If you fuck up, I will have to punch you in the face. That's all up to you. Paradise Advertising is down there. Alright, I'll be back. Mr. Hey, are you sure about this? This is one heck of a test. Isn't Paradise Advertising in a really bad way business-wise? Sucking their rent even as sales remain strong and steady? Yeah, that's right. Even as sales go through the roof, expenses are always higher. Which means... The only choice is to downsize and cut there. Ah, huh? yep. All they can do is downsize. Sure, who kill the company rather than downsize would now be forced to do the very thing. You're a bad man, Mr. A. Call it shock therapy. If he can't do this, he can't do anything. Shock therapy. Mm. Don't you think you should go check up on him just in case? You never know. Well, if you insist, I guess I may as well. Do you remember where Paradise Advertising is? I just said where it was, lady. Come on, I'm not that stupid. I just got done saying it. I'm gonna save. Where do I save? Do I save at the chair? So Watkins. How do I save? Anyway, guys, guys I'm gonna wrap it up here. So I find a spot to save. Eventually, I will find a place to save. How do I save? Do I talk to her? How do I save? I'm too drunk. Um, where save? Not save here? Options. Where's the save point? I mean, it was her, but it's not. Oh, here we go. Save. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified. Um, yeah. Thanks again. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.